Hey Mary Newsome, are you a big fan of ACDC? ACDC? Are you kidding? Don't they have a, one of the drummers named Gavin or something? <laughs> or what, what is, no, a Ang Angus, Angus Young. No, that's My the guitar player. Angus. Your mother was going to yeah, call you so Angus. I always had this connection even though I became Gavin. This guy, Ang Angus. Angus. I don't know if I could have been named Angus. It doesn't make sense. But yeah, so I like Do you play guitar? Uh, in my uh, in my mind. <laughs> in your mind. Okay. How about air guitar? That's it. That's it. That's to it back in it. black. That's a private. Because I keep uh, getting phone calls from you. Oh, only one call. And by the way, no, I no, no. I get a lot ACDC of calls. Thing. Really? Yeah, you've called me three or four times. Oh, well, that was on recycling. That was. That oh, was that I, was recycling yeah, for Shona in particular. <laughs> yeah, the only one campaign call, and I got I got 60, 60 calls complaining. Yeah, I bet. People don't like those. Pe people don't like uh, AC or they don't, they don't like Rob Black. We don't like no, they don't like uh, campaign calls. Well, that's true. Yeah, but then I got a call from Clinton, and I like that one. Yeah, what do you yeah, have to say to you? Uh, wow, he's called me personally. Yeah. But, uh, he was telling me to support for other other initiatives. Probably. Yeah, so. other things that are probably a little bit Nothing more but sweeping. Local politics, that's where rubber hits the road. That's the mm -hmm. most meaningful thing. So, Someone is going to respond to your call even if you didn't support them. So I'm yeah. a big supporter of Rob Black. So. Okay. And what do you what do you think Rob's going to do for tenants rights in, in District 6? I think he'll be spectacular. I think he's got... You don't think he has record. a lot of gentrification in mind? No, I don't think he does at all. I think he has enormous respect for tenants. He's expressed that not only uh, in everything he said, but in his career, uh, everything he's done. Uh, he's been a lifelong Democrat, cares deeply about democratic values, he's going to fight for tenants. No suggestion or inclination to do otherwise. It's not just tenants, he's going to fight for everything. He, you know, he's a guy who's going to get his hands dirty. He's going to get that stop sign so that our kids are safe in the district. He's going to make sure that there's funding. And you, for you don't think Chris is doing a good job at that? I think Chris is done nothing to demonstrate a, a, a capacity to reach across the divide. He's done nothing to reach out and try to build partnerships. He, he, uh, he's a very divisive person. In consequence, the district is not well suited for that kind of divisiveness. He's done nothing to reach out to the last two mayoral administrations. You may not like Willie Bryan, you may not like me, uh, but I think we all are better off when we work together. I work with a lot of folks that disagree with me. Sure, uh, well, coalition building is a part of politics, right? Well, it's a part of a, a good public policy. And so, Black, I got a question for you just about the community that I work in, which is yeah. obviously the medical cannabis community. Yeah, he's and a big supporter of medical cannabis. Really? Right. Well, you know, he came out, uh, one of the first things that I saw about him, he was supported by a neighborhood group called SOS, and he was actually uh, targeting Chris, uh, Chris's support of medical cannabis in, in South of Market. No, there was one, it's, uh, let's, uh, the, the, I'm glad we have this opportunity, the facts speak very differently. Uh, he's very strongly supportive of medicinal marijuana. Uh, he also believes that there's a process uh, that was unanimously supported by the Board of Supervisors, including the incumbent supervisor, but he believes it wasn't, uh, that process did not take place uh, with one particular dispensary on one particular street right around a community with a lot of kids, and there was self-determination by the neighbors uh, that so uh, he felt uh, do you needed feel to be listened to, which I thought was right under the circumstances, the Clementina neighbors, and, you know, I, I support medical cannabis. But don't city, you feel that the needs of, do of, don't you feel that the needs of patients with mobility concerns um, also should weigh in in the fact that we should have dispensaries in every neighborhood? Well, I think we... We have more dispensaries per capita than any city McDonald's. in America. Well, thank God, right? No, but I'm just saying, no, there's there's the reason the Board of Supervisors unanimously, including the supervisor right. I believe you're supporting, supported restrictions is because common sense should prevail. So the answer to your question is... Sure, uh, I mean, Chris obviously Daly I supported regulations and people yeah. in my community didn't. Some yeah. people were very against so the idea. You. I'm with you. You're just with common, me? Uh-oh, Gavin. Now you're sense. getting yourself in trouble. <laughs> common sense. Just common sense regulations uh, and self-determination by community. Uh, a lot of a lot of good people that, that just didn't even have... The, the incumbent supervisor refused to even return their call. And, that's what well, I'm talking about. But you know, that's, that's, that's a hard call because a lot of times, you know, when you call your supervisor about issues, it takes a long time to get in to speak with them. So, you yeah, know, I, I mean, this district, is, I, I've called I your office several times. This is the first time we're speaking, so. I was a district supervisor. Mm -hmm. Very different. Very different. Representing a small district. Representing well, yeah, a major, big difference. Okay. Thanks, hon.